Alright everybody, welcome to a brand new series. This is called The Park. This is actually a horror game on Steam. And um, the reason why I decided to play one of these games is because some of you guys have been asking uh, me to play a horror game. Uh, unfortunately, Kyle does not like horror games. So I will be going solo. So here we go. We'll play The Park. Um, heard a lot of good things about this game. This game was released in October of 2015. So uh, let's go ahead and play this, man. And um, let's try to get, get too scared, righty? Wow, the head's it. Alrighty. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, during the course of the gameplay, Park may manipulate graphics, audio, controls, and. Sandy, oh man. It's gonna suck. Alrighty. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. All right, let's go out and look for Mr. Bear. all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Alrighty. Wait up there for Mommy, Callum. Over here! Oh, there he is. Get back here! Okay, There's like... something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. with a headset on and it's creepy oh, oh. alright oh god the park what happened here Don't go in there, please. Don't go in there. Don't go in the mouth. Oh! Dude, that scared me. Alright, where do you go? Uh, this is 
scary. I'm playing the dark too. As I said, they play the dark with the headset. What is that? Hello? Come on, this way. I think this belongs to Calm. Examine plaque. Oh wait, there's something down here. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. What? Chad the chipmunk worse in class? Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Holy smokes. Callum! Where did you go? Catch me, mommy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way. Oh, wait a minute. Go to settings. Go to gameplay. There we go. Much better. What's this? You hear that? Oh shoot, man. Yeah, Kyle doesn't like horror games, so, um... Oh, here's... Here's something over here. Oh shoot, here's someone walking. Yeah, so Kyle doesn't like horror games, so. Oh shoot, where'd it go? Come on, mommy! Stop, Callum! Where are you? Callum, stay where you are! Oh, he's on the right. There he is. I was just saying, yeah, Kyle's like scary games. He's uh, he's kind of uh, kind of weak when it comes to scary games. So, you guys been wanting to see some scary games on the Yeti Theater? Hopefully, it won't be too scary for you guys. I mean, I know other YouTubers do it, and other ex oh shoot. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his right. wife, and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow oh. and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread 
and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail oh, of white shoot. stones behind them as they pass into the woods. Holy when smokes. their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. See that? See that? See that chipmunk? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh man, what's going on? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. At my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Two, that scared me. The old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Ugh. 
That was a nice story. Oh. What the heck, dude? Oh, my skin is crawling. I want to get out of this ride. Well, that was fun. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Alright, where do we go now? Oh, what is this? The car here. Oh. Another accident. This place. this oh despite the constant interruptions to work the leg on a park will be open in out time the governor is booked to cut the ribbon oh look at that bear man oh that's his bear is that my son's bear Get that man. Let's get out of here. Oh, this kid's crawling. I'm gonna try not to like. Oh shoot! Like I see another. You... See my son here. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the portion, something unnatural. It made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey, and that the thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few months, it was it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy. We had one teenager on the ground, and he was stabbed, stabbed, stabbing. The ice pick and blood was spraying, and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball one of the poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Ugh. Okay, thank you. Okay, where are we 
where I go? Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Oh, what's this? See this? See that? Someone's standing right there. Can I stop this machine? Oh, look, there's a chipmunk right here. I can't get on while it's moving. Let's go on it. I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be a this is gonna be a bad idea. Oh shoot, it's going faster. Still there. There he is. All right, let's go on the uh, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, I remember uh, someone mentioned this. Oh shoot, I can't go there. Yeah, someone mentioned this game a while back. Well, not a while back. A couple months back, like a month or so back. And then I remember someone saying, "Hey, I ain't you guy gamer man. I want you to play like a horror game or something like that." So, if you guys enjoy these types of horror Treachery games, treachery hides in thoughts, treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, "Is that it?" We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there. And so far from my expectations, and they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Oh, you see that? You see that? Look, 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 look. Oh, that's scary. Okay, I thought we're gonna park with summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season. He really drags, there aren't any many tours around, and so most of the staff spend their day standing around gossiping. Most of the gossip is about Chad. Oh, Chad the Chipmunk. Thing, dude, how's this thing cute? This is oh. all right. Let's hit shift and move a little faster. Oh, 
Oh, that was scary. Oh, can we go on the bumper rides? Constant crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. It's like this place has been abandoned. One that's on. Right, do I go on this one here? Holy smokes. Alright, let's go on this one. Alright, bridge here to the accident center during the transport of bumper cars into the Nair Arena. One of the uh, straps attached to the load to the truck came, uh, came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of all the cars. Francis was killed. Did you, uh, yes. Claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff was requested that Dexter provide them with urine examples. Double checking out the straps after transit should be mandatory. Driving for all trade. All right. Oh! Man, this game is scary, dude. I think I'm gonna stop right here guys um, if you guys enjoy these kinds of gameplay I know some of you guys requested it be sure to uh, comment below hit the like button because your like button tells me if you guys like the sense of gameplay it's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother once when Callum was very small I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand don't even remember what it was when I came back the sheriff was standing next to the car Watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. 